Francis Julie, and today I have an EMOM workout for you. And what that means is every minute on the minute. So you are going to get an exercise with a certain amount of reps to try to complete in that one minute time frame. When you finish your reps, you get to rest for the rest of the minute, and when the next minute starts, you move on. So the goal here is to be able to get all your reps in really before we hit that 45 seconds so that you get a full 15 second rest. If you're finding though that you finish all your reps within 30 seconds, then I would recommend you bump up the weights or you do more reps. So we are gonna work your total arms. We've got your shoulders, your biceps, triceps, back, and chest muscles. You are going to work one part for three rounds, every minute on the minute, and I will give you the amount of reps that you are shooting for within that minute, and then you'll get to rest for the rest of the minute. So have a variety of weights, anywhere between your lightest to your heaviest, maybe heavier for your back work or your chest work, and your lightest more down for your triceps. So I'm gonna range anywhere between eight to 25 pounds, just depending on the exercise. So if you have a range of weights, that would be great. If you just have one set of weights, make that work. So are you ready to work? Let's get warm and jump right into this workout. So nice big shoulder rolls up and back. We want to get our arms ready to work. Really want to get some mobility in these shoulders and let's roll it forward. Nice big movement here. Now we're going to take these into big arm circles. So big arm circle back, opening up through those shoulders. And let's take it forward. And we are going to go into trunk rotations. So let's just twist side to side. We are not working any legs today, so don't worry about that. We are just focusing on your arms. All right. I want you to swing your arms front and open. Have your thumbs up towards the ceiling. And just really pull those arms back and then cross them the front. Let's get our chest open. Good job. Now what I want you to do is, almost like you're skiing, I want you to pull your arms back and then reach straight up. And then back and straight up. And when you come up, try to squeeze your shoulder blades together in the back. Really open up the chest here. I feel like this looks like what the skiers do when they're going to go downhill and do those really big jumps. This is what that reminds me of. And one more. Shake those arms out. Go ahead and take your fingers and just pull your, your fingertips back so you feel a stretch down the front of this forearm. You're going to be holding weight the entire exercise. So I want you to get this nice and stretched. And let's switch. So you're just giving a slight tug, just until you feel the stretch down the front. You don't have to pull your fingers too far back. Okay, roll out the wrists a little bit. Just little wrist circles. And let's just warm up. So we're just gonna do some butt kicks. Just to get our body warm, and then we're gonna jump into the workout. So you're gonna start with shoulders, and we're gonna start with the rotating press. So that might be your light to medium weights. For me, that's about my medium weight. So I am gonna start at a lighter weight and then progressively work up. We're gonna do each exercise three times. So if you can increase your weight each time, that would be great. If you need to stick with the same weight, no problem. A couple more here, and let's get our weight. So we're starting with a rotating press, which means you're gonna be here, rotate it up over your head, and come back down. Make sure you keep your shoulders down. I don't want you to be here, don't lose your neck. So you're here, rotate straight over your head, come back in. That's your first exercise. You're going to aim to do 12 to 15 reps. Now, I say 12 to 15, because if you hit 12 reps, and it's only been 30 seconds, then I want you to go to 15. 
But if it takes you the full 45 seconds to hit those 12 reps, then stay at 12. So I wanna give you a range so that you have options. I'm gonna go for the 15 reps, as long as I can get there before the 45 seconds is up, so that I have the full 15 second rest. And I will call out when we hit 30 seconds, when we hit 45 seconds, so that you know. If you do not wanna count your reps at all, you can just lift until we get the 45 seconds. So, are you ready? Start with a set of weights that you feel comfortable with. And we are going to do this. So, I'm gonna let you know when we hit the 30 seconds and if you've hit all your reps, add a couple more. Ready? Let's do this. So we've got every minute on the minute. So you're counting your reps. Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. The lodge by the Great water job. still my favorite place and I could come every year. There's your 30 seconds. Now there's my 12 reps. I'm going for 15. And there's my 15 and I just hit 45 seconds. So you've got 15 seconds left. You can rest or if you still are getting in a few more reps, go ahead and do that. Okay, you've got five seconds. We're going again. If you want to bump up your weights, go ahead and do that. Are you ready? Here we go. Up to the top. It goes by pretty fast, right? So it depends on when you finish those reps as to how much rest you get. Ooh. There's your 30 seconds. Now I'm only gonna go to 12 on that because it went heavier. And you've your 45 seconds, so you've got a 15 second rest. I'm gonna shake out those arms. <laughs> so if you go heavier, you might do less reps. Okay, grab your weights. I'm actually going to drop back down to where I started. Your last time through this exercise, let's do it. So aim for those 12 to 15. There's your 30 seconds. And there is my rest, so I need to rest. You just hit your 45 seconds, so be finishing up those reps. Whew. And just shake that out. Your minute is almost up. And rest. Okay, let's go into our next exercise, which is going to be a lateral raise, but it's alternating. So we're going to be here, here. Once again, instead of 15 reps, because that's not even, I'm going to say aim for 12 to 16 reps. So this would be one, two, so you're going to try to get that in during your minute. If you hit 30 seconds once again and you're totally done, Add on some more reps. The next time, go up and wait. Are you ready? I'm going to go down to my eights. Take a deep breath. So one arm at a time. And I really want you to think about keeping your elbow and wrist in alignment. I don't want your arm way up here and your shoulder stays down. No shrugging so that you're coming straight to the top, straight back down. Slow and controlled movement so that you're really controlling and using your muscle to get up and come back down. You ready? Here we go.
Here's your 30 seconds. And that is my 16 reps, and you just hit 45 seconds. So you've got a 15 second rest. If you feel like you're gonna be able to go up in weights, go ahead and grab those now so that you're ready. And the next minute starts. I am gonna go up. You have five seconds when we go again. Are you ready? Let's lift. Here's your 30 seconds. And there's my 16 reps. I don't know where you're at. And you just hit 45 seconds. So you've got a 15. I've got a 15 second rest. If you're finishing up your reps, do that. If it's taking you really past those 45 seconds, so maybe come down and rest so that you get to rest your arms. You got five seconds. If you want to go up and wait to do it, I'm going to go up and wait one more time. All right, ready? Let's go. Last time through. And then we'll be done with the shoulders. You're kind of leading with the elbows here, too. Slight bend in your elbow. You don't have to have completely straight arms. And there's 30 seconds. And 45 seconds. And go ahead and rest if you're done. You can grab a sip of water if you need to. Shake out those arms. We're gonna go into bicep curls next and your minute's up. All right, so bicep curls, your palms are out. So your knuckles are towards your thighs and you're just lifting to the top and slowly coming back down. We're gonna go for 12 to 15 reps. What I want you to think about though is don't use your shoulders. So we're not swinging it up and I don't want you to get up and then swing. It's really just a hinge at your elbows. You're just coming up and back down. Your shoulders are staying down and we're just hinging in the elbows. So don't try to use your shoulder to get the weight up. So choose a weight that you can do 12 to 15 reps of and try to be done in 45 seconds. So you really wanna monitor that you don't go too light where you're done in 30 seconds or too heavy where you can't quite get done in that full minute. Are you ready? Okay, so bicep curls. We've got three, two, one, let's lift. So all the way to the top, all the way back down. Slow and controlled. No momentum here, just the strength of our biceps. There's 30 seconds. And 45 seconds. All right, so you've got a rest here. I'm gonna keep the same weights. I might go up for the very last round. Okay, in two seconds we're going again. Are you ready? Let's lift. Goes by fast, doesn't it? So I went a little past that 45 seconds, which means I didn't get a longer break. <laughs> so, this is gonna be more challenging. Your 
Here's your 30 seconds. And here's my last rep and right at the 45 seconds. So you've got a 15 second rest. I'm just gonna set those weights down for a minute, shake out my arms. I'm just gonna stick with the same weights. <laughs> I'm not gonna go up this time. Okay, you've got four seconds before we go again, so grab your weights, go up if you want to. Here we go, last time through. How are you doing? There's your 30 seconds. And here's my last row. You're almost at 45 seconds. And there's your 45 seconds. So finishing up those reps, I'm just gonna jog it out a little bit, shake my hands. Okay, we're going into a hammer curl next. So thumbs up, but we're gonna alternate. So we're gonna be here. Grab the weights you want to start with. Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. Up to the top. So, we're keeping our hands by our side and we're keeping that elbow hinging but we're not using our shoulders at all. So same thing we did before. But we've got our palms facing in. There's your 30 seconds. And 45 seconds. I've got one last rep. Go ahead and rest. If you're done with your rest, if not, continue on. Ooh, shaking out those arms. Anybody else like feeling it in their biceps? <laughs> It's your last bicep exercise, then we'll move on. So, you wanna go up and wait? Go ahead and go up and wait. We go in two, one, and let's lift. So, alternating those curls. You can go for 12 to 16, anywhere in that range. I'm going for 16 reps, how about you? And there's your 45 seconds, and that was perfect timing for me. You can rest those arms for the rest of your 15 seconds. We have one last time through. I'm going to go up and wait one more time. I'm a little stronger in these hammer curls. Okay, grab your weights. Here we go, last time through for biceps. You can do this, stick with it. And 45 seconds. I'm going to get one more breath in. And that's the end of mine. If you're finishing it, go ahead and do that. Rest those arms out. We're going to be going into rows next, so you might need to go a little heavier in these weights. And your minute's up. So, to shake that out. Take a little breather here. I'm going to give you a minute rest. So, let me show you your next exercise. So we're going to be in a bent over row. So, what I like to do, hinge at the hips, a little bend in the knees. 
You're gonna bring your elbows up behind your back, keeping your elbows in, so no chicken weights. So keep those in, and you're really trying to squeeze your shoulder blades together. So this first exercise, we're gonna do our arms together. When we do the second back exercise, we'll alternate. It's kind of our pattern. So decide what weights you can do for a row. Typically, you can go a little bit heavier. So we're gonna aim for 12 to 15 reps. I think I'm gonna start with my 15s. Okay, we've got a few more seconds, and then we're gonna start this. So remember with your back, you wanna keep the chest open too. Don't roll your shoulders in. So chest is open and you're trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Are you ready? In three, two, one, and let's go. You're going for 12 to 15 reps. seconds so did you get your reps in 45 seconds if not maybe go down and wait or do fewer reps okay grab whatever weight you want to go next we start again in three two one let's go so I'm gonna go up and wait bring those shoulder blades together Here's your 45 seconds. So we've got 15 seconds before we go to the back to the top. One more time through. Ooh, if you wanna switch out your weights now, go ahead and do that. We've got five seconds. One more time through, we can do this. Are you ready? Here we go. sometimes <laughs> your minutes almost up and minute done okay Let's fix the ponytail we're going into our last back exercise and this is going to be a back fly but we're going to alternate so once again you're hinged at the hips forward slight bend in the knees and you're going to bring one arm up come back down other arm up come back down the main thing here is it is not a deltoid raise we are not trying to get our deltoids. We're going for our back. So what you really want to think of is that you are trying to bring the shoulder blade towards your spine. So you're coming back. That's the goal. So one at a time, you should have to go lighter than what you did on your rows. I'm gonna start with eight pounds. And so you're gonna come back and back. 12 to 16 reps, somewhere in there. We've got 10 seconds before we start again, so grab whatever weights you want to use. Are you ready? In three, two, one, let's go. So squeeze that shoulder blade towards your spine.
the jaw. You just hit 30 seconds. And that is my 16 reps. I am gonna go up and wait for the next one. And you just hit 45 seconds. So you got 15 seconds before we're starting over, so you should be about finished up with those reps. If you didn't quite get there, come down in your reps. Or come down in your weights, either one. Okay, are you ready? We're going again in two, one, let's lift. And there's your 30 seconds. And there's my 16. And you just hit 45 seconds. So we've got 15 seconds before we start again. If you want to go up in weights, grab those weights. If you want to stick with the same, or if you need to come back down, Totally fine. I think I'm going to go up one last time. Are you ready? In two, one, let's go. Last time. Then we're moving on to our triceps. We're getting really close to being done. You just hit 30 seconds. And that's it for me. Oh, I'm getting hot, friends. And there's your 45 seconds. You've got 15 seconds left of this round. I swear I feel this little hair on me. Have you ever had that where, aha, I just found it. Where it's like tickling your arm, but you can't find it. So frustrating. Okay, you've got five seconds left of this. And then your minutes up, shake those arms out, and your minutes up. I'm just gonna jog it out for a minute. Okay, we're moving into our triceps. So we just have triceps and chest left, and we're done. So two more triceps, then we'll go into two chest. We'll be done for the day. So we are going to do kickbacks. So once again, hinging at the hips, or you can have like a lunge stance. Either one is fine, whichever you feel more comfortable with. So what you're gonna do, elbows behind your back, and we're just gonna straighten, Pull them back in, straighten, pull them back in. 12 to 15 reps, somewhere in that range. You should have to go a lot lighter. So I'm gonna start with eights. Are you ready? We're going in two seconds. So get ready, here we go, let's lift. Up above your back, but still keep your elbows tucked in. No chicken wings, but we want them above our back. And really squeeze at the top. And there's your 30 seconds. And that's the last ones for me. I'm definitely going up in weight. This is actually pretty light weight for me for triceps. So I wanna push that. And there's your 45 seconds. So take these 15 seconds, rest those arms, grab the next set of weights you wanna use or if you wanna stick with the same ones, awesome. I'm gonna go up again. Okay, we're going again. In three, two, one, let's go. How you doing? There's your 30 seconds. There's 15 reps for me. And 
And there's your 45 seconds. So hopefully you've finished up those reps. You've got a little rest here. I'm gonna go up and wait one more time. You can do the same. You can stay where you're at. All right, we've got five seconds. Grab those weights. One more time to these kickbacks. Are you ready? Let's go. There's 30 seconds. And there's my 15 reps. I'm actually gonna keep this weight. Okay, there's your 45. So you've got 15 seconds. Woo! Go ahead and shake your arms out a little bit. You can jog in place. You can walk around the room, you can do whatever you want in those 15 seconds. And your minute's up. Okay, two more exercises. Now I take it back three more. We're going to the floor. So for our next tricep one, is gonna be skull crushers. So you might wanna start light. I'm gonna start light. And so go ahead and lay flat on your back, or if you wanna lay on a bench, that's totally fine too. You can use your stability ball if you want. So, lay down. You're gonna have your arms over your head. You're gonna hinge at the elbows, and those weights will come right down towards your ears, and then you're gonna straighten back to the top. Okay? Rub your weights. It's our last tricep exercise, and here we go. So right past your ears, back to the top. 12 to 15 reps. And there's your 30 seconds. And that's it for me. <clears throat> and you just hit 45 seconds, so you've got that 15 second rest. If you want to go up and wait, you can go up and wait. I'm definitely going to go up and wait for this, last, this next round, not the last one. We've got two more. And go ahead and bring it back down. We're starting in two, one, and let's do this again. There's your 30 seconds. Woohoo! And you just hit 45 seconds. Woo! How are your arms doing? <laughs> You're tired. Okay, one more set through in five seconds. Are you ready? One more time through, we can do this. And there's 30 seconds. And that's it for me. There's your 45 seconds. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna swap out my weights to get ready for chest. 
and you're almost done with your minute. So if you want to get whatever weights you need next, or shake up those arms, and there's your minute. We're going into just a chest press. So we've just got a chest press here, and then a chest fly, and we'll be done. So choose the weights that you want to do for chest press. I'm going to have a couple options next to me. Get a quick sip of water. All right. So chest press, you're just gonna be laying flat back and you're just pushing those weights right over your head. All right, get the weights you wanna start with. 12 to 15 reps. Are you ready? Ooh, that weight, <laughs> that weight is in my way. Okay, ready? Here we go. And there's your 30 seconds. So take a breather, twist the wrist, make sure they're still feeling good, shake out your arms. You've got five seconds and we go again. I'm gonna stick with the same weights. Here we go, up to the top and down. So right over your rib cage. And there's 30 seconds. And 45 seconds. And that's it for me. I'm going to go up and wait for this last round. So if you want to do that, grab your weights. Okay, we go again in three seconds. Who's missing fast, right? Last time through, here we go. Are you doing okay? Arm shaking. There's your 30 seconds. And that's it for me. And there's your 45 seconds. So you've got 15 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and put some of these weights back from this last round that I won't need. Okay, so last round, basically three minutes left and we're done, friends. Chest fly. So we came down and touched the floor with that chest press. Now we're gonna open wide, leading with the elbows. As soon as you get to the floor or out wide, if you wanna come back together and you wanna think of bringing your elbows together and squeezing in your armpits, if that makes sense. And kind of like you're hugging a big beach ball. That's what I like to think of, hugging a big beach ball. All right. 12 to 15 reps. Are you ready for this, friends? You've got 10 more seconds and we're gonna start again. You're gonna to wanna to go lighter than you did with the chest press. Are you ready? Take it to the top and let's go. 12 to 15 reps.
you hit your 30 seconds. And there's your 45 seconds. And I hit my reps. So you've got a 15 second rest before we go again. Unless you're still squeezing out those last few, but make sure you get enough rest in there. I really want you to be able to stop by the 45 seconds. Are you ready? Let's go again. There's 30 seconds. And there's your 45 seconds. So we've got 15 seconds before we do the last round. It's our last round and then we are done. You have five seconds. If you can go up the weights, go up. I'm gonna stick with the same weight I went up for the last round. I'm just gonna stay here. All right, let's do it one last time. Don't give up on me. If you can do this, you are strong. Let's finish this strong. Hang in there, friends. There's your 30 seconds. And there's your 45 seconds, and that's it for me. You've got 15 seconds left. Hopefully you're done. I'm gonna grab these weights and put them out of my way. And there's your minute. All right, you guys, yay, you finished, you're done. Oh, how do your arms feel, like jello? Mine feel like jello. Okay, let's stretch, what do you think? Let's do some big arm crosses to stretch that out. We just really worked that chest. So we hit all your arms, just two exercises of each muscle group, but that's a, that's a total arm workout, right? Take your arms in front of you and turn them inside out and just like pull through. So you really wanna like stretch those shoulder blades apart. I love like focusing in on one or two muscle groups at a time, but man, there's something fun about just doing a total body arm workout and hitting everything because your muscles all really have to work together in most exercises. So it's not like you ever fully isolate one muscle. And let's take it to the back and class. So in this way, we're really <laughs> making them work the entire time. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me today. I know that was a lot of work, but you're gonna get stronger. Okay, take one arm across, take the other arm, just give a little pull. So one thing I wanna say with weight training is, it's a great way to reshape your body, lean muscle mass, burning more calories. Your muscle requires more calories to maintain itself than fat does. So your metabolism will increase the more muscle mass you put on. However, it takes a while to build muscle. It's not fast. Let's switch. I mean, so don't be discouraged if you feel like you're not seeing results because it does take a while to build the muscle mass and you have to be consistent. And I just, like people get so discouraged, they're like, well, I'm not seeing any difference, so I'm giving up. Don't give up because it will happen if you stick with it. It just takes time. I have been lifting weights for a really long time and it has taken me years to be like, okay, I'm starting to see what I want to see. It just takes time, so be patient. Your body will be changing. And also to see those muscles, just at the same time when you get your nutrition dialed in because you need to lose the body fat with the top of them to see them better, right? But don't give up because you don't think the results come quick enough. It won't be in three weeks. You might see small changes by six to eight weeks, but really for true muscle growth and true changes, you need to give it time. 
patience is a virtue, right? You gotta be patient. Shake those arms out. Deep breath up to the top. Ooh, open it up. And up. And thank you so much for working out with me today. I'd love to do an e-long workout with you. That was really, really fun. I think this is the first time I put that kind of workout up on the channel. So comment down below, let me know how you did. Were you able to increase your weights from the last time that you lifted? Or is there a specific workout that you would love me to do? I would love to know about that. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see you in the next workout. Bye.